Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists social media influencers with management contract issues. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about how long are most influencer management contracts. So if you're an influencer and you're starting to get bigger, uh, at some point, it's likely that you're going to want to reach out to um, a manager, an agent, marketing agency. It's all kind of grouped into the same thing. Uh, and then you'll establish a relationship where they will go out and find you deals to bring back to you uh, and then negotiate, you know, the compensation and essentially just kind of assist you in growing uh, your business as an influencer. Uh, now, before you establish that relationship, uh, a contract needs to be signed that details the responsibilities between the manager and then the talent, the influencer. Uh, if that is not in place, I can promise you there will be some kind of discre uh, discrepancy problem down the road. Uh, and without a contract in place, uh, those types of issues can magnify greatly. Now, uh, one question I get frequently is how long uh, is a management contract? So many influencers are concerned, like, you know, I think this person is good. Uh, I'm interested in them becoming my manager. However, I don't know them uh, necessarily, and I certainly haven't worked professionally with them. And so if I don't like them, but I sign a three-year contract, what do I do? And so uh, in any contract, there's going to be some language that states how long it lasts. So most influencer contracts, uh, or at least influencer management contracts, are somewhere between you know, one to five years. Uh, and that just simply means the contract will go on for that period of time. Uh, and then there'll be language that has, states that it either, either will automatically renew uh, if neither party terminates the agreement, or if it's a fixed term, uh, it could just simply end if there's no renegotiation after the end of that period. Now, in every management contract, there usually is, but absolutely needs to be a section that's called without cause termination. So, it, you know, there'll be a term section that says how long it lasts and then a termination section that lists how the contract can be terminated. So there's four common ways a contract can be terminated. One, as I stated before, if it's just a fixed term and it's not renewed, it just ends. Uh, two, by mutual agreement. So if either party's like, you know, this isn't working out, regardless of the rest of the contract terms, we just want to move, you know, move on, wash our hands of the situation. You can mutually agree to terminate the agreement. A breach of contract. So if one party is not following through with the responsibilities of the agreement, the other party can um, you know, provide them with written notice that they're in breach of contract. And then if that party doesn't fix the problem, doesn't cure the breach, then um, the party that's not in breach can terminate the agreement immediately. And then the last and most common way is without cost termination. And it just simply means either party can terminate the contract at any point for any reason with a certain amount of notice to the other party. So normally it's somewhere between 30 to 120 days in most influencer management contracts. Meaning, uh, let's just say you have a 60 day notice requirement, then you would provide written notice uh, to your manager and that just states per the agreement, I'm giving you 60 days notice that I uh, am terminating the agreement. Then you would work out those 60 days and then at the end of the 60 days, then you would be free to find a new manager or agent uh, and move forward. So uh, although the term of your contract, I mean the length of the contract could be three years, you still can get out of it at any point with 60 days uh, or whatever the notice amount is in your contract. So you're not stuck for three years. Uh, you do have the option to terminate the agreement. Now, it absolutely needs to be in there. So if you don't have language that states you can terminate the contract without cause, you need to speak to someone who understands that and can put it into the agreement. You have to have options if it's not working out. If you're with an agent or a manager who is just simply underperforming and not bringing you the deals that you should be getting, you, you can't stick around. You, you have to cut ties and move on to someone better. And so without cause termination will allow you to do that. A uh, couple of considerations of after the contract ends. Even though you can terminate the contract without cause, there very likely is going to be language in the contract that states any of the deals, so any of the sponsors that the manager brought to the influencer during the term of the contract, that manager is going to get paid their 
commission percentage for usually a year after the contract terminates. So let's just say you're uh, reach a deal with a skincare company and the manager brought it to you. Well, if, even if you terminate the agreement, you're still going to have to pay that commission percentage back to that manager for a year after the contract ends. So even if the brand wants to continue the relationship, and even if you have a new manager, that new manager is not going to see a, a, a dollar of what that old deal, uh, you know, the old deal made by your old manager was, uh, because there will be some kind of provision in the contract that states you'll have to pay them the percentage um, for a year after the contract ends. So why is that? Well, most managers don't want to bring someone a great deal and then that person terminate the agreement and then avoid having to pay the percentage of the commission back to the manager for bringing them that deal. I mean, that just makes common sense. Now, uh, a couple of things that an influencer can do, you can either shorten that period of time, you'd have to pay back the percentage. You can uh, lower the percentage over time. So maybe if it was a 20%, then it's like 20% for the first quarter, 15 for the second, 10, five, step it down. Um, but you need to protect your interests as well. Uh, if you have terminated an agreement with, um, a manager, it, it is for a reason. And it, it just, <laughs> I can just tell you just on like a, um, emotional level, it, it feels bad to have to continue to pay your old manager when they're not even assisting you anymore. So that's how long a, a normal influencer management contract is and the ways you can kind of get out of it. Uh, if you have any questions about an influencer management contract, uh, you can always call my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description. Uh, or you can reach us through our website, ShellyLaw.com. If this video was helpful, please like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we do release videos every single day. All right. Appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.